Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to create a kaleidoscope effect in Adobe Photoshop very very easily. A lot of concert and portrait photographers use a lens filter for this but I found a way you can do this in Photoshop in post. And doing this in Photoshop makes it a little bit more flexible in terms of what you can do, how strong the effect is, stuff like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is duplicate our existing layer, whatever photo you have, um, so that you can make adjustments to the final result uh, when it comes to how strong it comes off. So you can press Ctrl J while selecting the layer, or you can hold Alt and drag down, does the same thing. So we're going to be working with the top layer right here, and we're going to be using the clone stamp tool, which is just S on your keyboard. It's also right next to the brush tool. So we're going to select it. And essentially what we're going to do is select a portion of the photo that we want to duplicate multiple times. So in this case, we're going to choose his face and I'm going to select his nose every single time. So every time we add a new face, we're going to go back and select the nose again. And to select a reference point of what you're going to copy, you want to hold alt until the circle is gone and then click on the part you want to copy. So we're going to hold alt and click on his nose. And then now you can see his face appears right here and you can make the brush bigger so that his face is bigger. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it this size. So boom, we're going to go back to his nose, hold alt and click on it. We're going to do this side. We make it bigger toward the bottom because there's more space in the bottom. So now we just got the top to work with now. So last one right around here. And now, as you can see, we're basically done the effect. The only problem is you can see it is kind of going over the original one a little bit. So what you can do is lower the opacity of the top layer so that the bottom layer shows a bit more. Or you can use the eraser tool, make it like a soft hardness and just erase part of where it's getting overlaid. So something like that. And another thing you can do is add more contrast to the photo when it comes to color because right now it's a little bit too unified. So everything just looks red. There's nothing special to this. Um, so you can go to color balance right here and maybe turn up the blues or something like that. So now you can see there's more contrast. There's more depth to the photo. And another thing you can do is maybe crop the image so that the subjects in the middle, like the subjects not really in the middle right now. Um, so I'm going to do four by five for Instagram, follow like the grid lines right here. And we're just going to increase the saturation a bit. And the last thing I'm going to do, which is optional, is I'm going to add like an RGB split effect to the overlay. So to apply the RGB split effect, you want to only work with the overlay. The reason you want to add it is because you want to replicate the refracting of the light as best as possible, because that's usually how a lens filter would work. There's going to be chromatic aberration. So you want to duplicate this overlay layer so that there's four of them. So I'm going to right click, press blending options. And right here, we're going to uncheck green and blue. Then we're going to go to the next one. We're going to uncheck uh, red and blue. And then you know what we're going to do next. We're going to uncheck red and green. And essentially, we just want to use our arrow keys and we want to move them slightly. You can also hold shift and move the right arrow key or left arrow key or down arrow key. And I think it moves like five. Uh, pixels to the right. So we're going to do the same thing with the next layer, but we're going to move left. So you can see what that does. We're going to do it to the next one. Let's move down for this. See, now you can see the RGB split effect. Um, and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to merge all these. So we're going to select them by uh, clicking on the first layer right here and holding shift and click on the last one. You can also just hold control and click on all them individually. And then we're going to press control E to merge them. And now I'm just going to go to my eraser tool and just erase the middle. I think this effects a little bit too strong to be honest. Um, so I'm just going to go back real quick and not move it like five pixels to the right this time, maybe like one or two. So I think this is a little bit more subtle right here. Um, I don't even think we have to erase the middle, but I'm going to do it anyways. So we're just going to erase the middle like this and I'm going to use curves because it's a little bit too dark on the edges right now. So something like this. So now you can see the chromatic aberrations added 
And yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.